During spring training, there's an awful lot of stuff that goes on. Strategy, and in this case, pickoff moves. It's yes. a very important part of the game, as well as hitting, fielding, and throwing. And I think this is an opportunity for infielders, runners, pitchers, everybody alike, to work on pickoff moves. And there was a, there was a situation today, very benign, pickoff play at first base, the Angels against Colorado. You had a left-handed pitcher, throws over to first, well-executed first baseman, throws out the runner. But I started thinking about, not only is this a pitcher to first base, and yes, there's some throws and some tags, but I think about the unique aspect of when a pitcher and a pitching staff has a lot going on here with the middle infield as far as pickoff plays. Yes. Orlando Cabrera, yes. you've had a lot, you've seen a lot, and I want to say about what you, you were talking about earlier about yeah. how many pickoff plays are in spring training. Yeah, in the spring training, they look funny. They look like why they throw in the second base. They only doing it because of the scouts. They want the scout to know that they have that play. So that's just a regular pickoff that's play That's just for a regular, scout. yes. Barry Zito, another pickoff play. There's no reason why they're throwing a second base, but they're doing it. So the scout, write it down and tell the team, watch out, they have this play. Now, I noticed that one right there, Orlando. That was almost a timing play where the pitcher, not even looking at second base, realized, bam, we have this thing set. He's looking at home, turns that around, mean, spins, and throws. That means that sign comes from the, from the bench. Now, there's several different ways I know as a base runner because they were always attempting to pick me off, and I was always being a buffoon out here. So I know there's all different sorts of plays. What are those plays? Well, first of all, you've been in a lot of plays. Obviously, middle infield yes. played a long career. Yes. But we, and I love it, too. I love it. It's pickup. fun, right? This yes. part of the game. But you were part of a play that you were able to pull here at the network in yes. 1999. Javier right Vasquez was on the mound. Chris Widger was behind home plate. You were at shortstop at Wrigley. Shortstop, yeah, Wrigley Field. We got the pitcher in second base. The, Widger give the signs to us. They wait for me. I break to second base. We just give the sign to, the, uh, to Javi, and he spin around. You see with the glove right there, giving the sign to Javi. I break to second base. He, he throw the, the ball, and I make the tag right there. Little tricksters. I knew. I, I mean, I've always heard eating. about the timing play and where he's the catcher's eating. calling it. But that call, what, does it come from the bench? From the bench. That was uh, Felipe Alou's favorite play. All right, let, let, let's, let's kind of reanact this. But okay. I know, Burns, you're a better base runner than you're saying that uh, being a buffoon. Well, I, I, I say that, Al, I say base. that in the sense that I was always trying to disrupt the timing of what was going on there. And at the same time, with, with one out especially, I was always trying to get a timing on the pitcher to try to get a break to be able to steal third base. So as much of a quote-unquote buffoon as I was, really it was all an attempt to steal third base. All right, let's, let's give it a shot because a lot of times the runner's second. Everybody thinks about the pickoff at first. So we have Very important at second base. You want to have the timing or you want to have the deal? Well, let's, let's do a timing play. Timing so play. So we'll do similar to what we just saw with Widger. You have a, 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 a sign. The sign has to be communicated. It has yes. to be the same. You got eye contact. We're going to do a, a, a pull of the glove here or the shirt. Yes. You want to make sure what? Third base coach isn't seeing it. doesn't see me. I look at you. We make okay. eye contact. Eye contact. I confirm it. Yes. Which means the timing is after I get my sign and I look to second base, as soon as I look at home, there's a cadence. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. When I turn, that timing is perfect. Middle infielder, Lando Cabrera, what do you, what, what's the timing play for you, uh, seconds wise? Well, the, the, the thing is, you and I have to be in the same pitch. I need to know that you like to throw the second base, that you want to be out of this inning, even though it's two hours, you concentrate on the hitter. I, we can get this guy out, and we can go to the, you know, we can go hit. So, for me, it's like, like you say, one, exactly, just two seconds. Wait for you, One, and then two, I break, and then, go. and then you know I'm gonna be there. Okay. How about uh, how about a, a daylight play? What's a daylight play? Okay, daylight play is when the base runner is taking too much, uh -huh. and I know you, you see, can that see, gap, right you see that gap. You see that gap automatically angle. right there. This it's is a daylight. great gap. We have to make eye contact, and then I go. So the daylight is is that you as a shortstop is in between Eric Burns, the runner, and the base. Yes. That's my daylight. Yes. Okay, there's another daylight, too, where you'd be in normal position and you go, and as soon as you now are on the left side of Eric, I spin and turn. Yes. So get in your normal position. So right now the runner, now what's happening right now, Bernsey? What's your third base coach saying? You're okay. Right. You're, You're okay. 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 And, then I go. and then as soon as I see that glove. That glove. That, that gets him. That so gets the, the, the daylight, to clarify this, because I'm just kind of learning here, the daylight is when you can actually see space between the runner and the shortstop. So that is, is kind of a unwritten, unplanned time. Yes. 
Yes, mechanism to big. go ahead and pick the runner off. But at you can base. also create the I.O. The, in middle of the field, there creates yes. the daylight by breaking. By as breaking. soon as he gets in between you and the base, there's your daylight. And, also. and the reason I like that play is because I don't have to go like that. I can just go from here and just run the second base. The so you, we you have three plays here. We have the daylight play, we have the timing play, and then we also have the play, which is going to involve the catcher. Yeah. Three ways yeah. to try to pick. That's a lot of ways, Greg, of trying to get these tricky runners. What did you say, buffoon runner? Buffoon. <laughs>